Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com where we do IT tutorials on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you like that, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can hear more about this. This is another Proxmox video on backup. Last time we did uh, backing up to a local directory. This time we're going to show you how to do it to a, uh, a local NAS using NFS. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Boom. This is my little NAS, a uh, little free NAS, or a little uh, Buffalo NAS named Jar Jar. And the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create a new folder to share out. We're going to call this Prox Mox Backup. And it doesn't need to be a Windows share or anything like this, but I am going to pick SFTP so that if I have to use uh, S Win SCP or S SSH into it, I can get in there and get my files. Go ahead and save it. Here we go. All right, so there it is. So it's support for SFTP. Let's go over here to the network tab. Go ahead into NFS. First thing we need to do is turn on NFS. Um, this network and subnet stuff here, basically if you set it all at zeros, it means that it's wide open. Anybody can access the NFS share. I recommend that you narrow that down uh, for production purposes. What you can do is just set it to where um, only certain machines can access it by narrowing that scope. Go ahead and hit save here. Maybe we'll do a tutorial on that later some other time. So now you'll see that here's my two shares. This is the Proxmox Backup. We're going to click on that guy and go ahead and enable NFS on it. Click Save. Now, this is going to be important. And uh, the IP address of this machine is going to be important. So let's flip back over to our free NAS. This is our test free NAS that we used the other day to back up to local directory. We're going to click on data center, go down here to storage, and then click add. Now, all these options are available. We're going to choose NFS, and it's going to be called NFS jar jar. And the server is IP address, as we look back over here, this right here, 192.168. 192.168. One one dot one seventy. There she is. Now this export directory. That's what we get. This right here. Let's go ahead and just copy that. And let me just zoom in a little bit here for you guys on this. Oh yeah. So we're gonna copy that right there. And you take that and you put it over here. Boom. Now. We want dumps for backups. We're also going to do ISO images. We don't need disk images. Uh, and so that's all we're going to store on there. If you put disk images, you could store actual virtual machines on an NFS share. But in this particular case, we're not going to do that. And also we're going to change our max backups to two so that I can show you how that works again. And hit OK. Oh, something happened. Does not exist. All right. Let's go back over here and see what we may have done. Saved. Um, and we're back up and see if we did all this right. All that seems to be fine. ID NFS jar jar 111. Let's, this is IP address is correct. 1216810. Yeah, oh, this is correct. Let's just hit it again. Maybe it was directory does not exist. Maybe it doesn't like something about this. Let's do that. See if that. Yep. Yeah. That was probably because I had previously put one on here and it. Uh, may have uh, caused conflict because of a name duplication. So, 
you will see over here and uh, hopefully I'm zoomed in enough here let's just make it a little bit bigger over here you'll see NFS Jar Jar content summary you can look at this guy it says there's you know storage and all that good stuff so let's just go ahead and test it out and put an ISO image in there let's just take this um, vert IO image and upload it to it and that'll take just a moment and I will let you we'll fast forward through that but yeah all right here we go so that finished that up and it's saying that it's not online again here's the deal Jar Jar is a very low-end old NAS that uh, we just have hanging around and uh, generally speaking I would never use this uh, NAS for any kind of production purposes but for demonstration purposes it shall, shall not be a problem um, it's just slow so if you click off and then click back down here under contents you're gonna see that ISO that we had so now we can go and um, Go ahead and click on our little test Ubuntu that we had and go click on backup and then so now you'll notice there's two different options here you got a local store where we had those backups from the other day and NFS so we just go ahead and hit a backup right now choose Jar Jar and then hit backup and it's going to do its thing uh, Proxmox does a wonderful job of backing stuff up, so it you'll see it uh, chunk this out and finish it up. And I'll just go ahead and let you watch that, and I will also fast forward that. Well, that was pretty quick. <laughs> so, backed up successfully. Go ahead and close that, and you'll see there's a backup in here. Now... If I go over here, or actually I go to the data center, and I go to backups, and I have this right here. If I go ahead and just, just edit this guy, and <clears throat> change it to from local to NFS, and then hit OK. Now, this job would change from going to the local directory to the Jar Jar NFS share. Wednesdays and Saturdays. Let's go ahead and run it. Start select a job. Now that's going to pop in our task log down here. If you want to watch it, you just double click on this guy down here and it will bring that up. You can look at the status. Most of the output is what I look at and you can see it creating those. So we'll just give it just a second to do that. And boom, that's done. Let's go here go here and there you go two backups now remember we set the limit to two backups on this share so if you'll notice this is uh, <clears throat> 35 36 so this oldest one here is this first one right here the 35 17 so if I go back to the data center and I hit this backup job again and I hit run you're going to notice we'll let it finish and that 3517 one will be the one that it gets rid of the oldest one there we go now let's go back and look at that share and as suspected the 3517 one is gone that's all there is to it back up to an NFS share is very similar to backing up locally and the beautiful thing about this is that NFS share is a different machine so if this Proxmox machine goes completely down you can take those LZO backups and move them to a new machine easily. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.